Alright, so this is a review video on my modified Nerf Aerostorm. I downloaded and printed off these little 3D printed adapters off of printables. What they do is they bring down Storm's caliber from these giant arrows to 50 cal. So now I can stick a 50 cal in there. And it still keeps the original functionality of the arrows, so you can still shoot your arrows just fine. And it also allows for half-length compatibility too, so you'll have no problem firing half-lengths doubled up if you want, so you can shotgun load. Um, it's a pretty simple operation. You just pull back and it automatically will rotate and fire. a pretty, I mean it's loud, but it has some pretty high power for just hot gluing some little inserts in there. So let's go down to the range and test it out. Alright, so for our first test we're just going to be using the old Rockets for it. I got it at Goodwill. It might have had all the Rockets though. I feel like it was missing one so that's why we're missing one and we're just going to test to see how well they shoot. Alright, so not the best performance out of the default rockets. Alright, so now we're going to be testing just regular Nerf darts. They're pretty easy to load, just pop them in. So, here we'll push them in, give them a little bit more of a seal. Alright, here we go. Wow, so that was a lot harder. From just looks, that looked to be quite a bit harder than normal Elite Blasters. So now let's try just AF Pros, so half darts. And we'll just do single loading for them. And then after this, this we'll do them all double loaded to see how well they hit. So it looks like we actually didn't fire one. Oh, hey, wait, wait. Nope. There's something stuck in this one, but, so that didn't actually fire too good. Hmm. So apparently this is more of a full dart length blaster, though let's try some half darts. All right, so we have all of our half darts double loaded in there. Let's see how she fires. So that was actually fairly good. It fired two half darts at once, better than it fired just a single half dart at a time. Um, not great spread, but I guess if you're not really sure on your distance, that could be decent for hitting two people or if you're in really close quarters. Forgot the fire barrel. All right, so we're just gonna kind of go around and blast at things and see the accuracy or any kind of gimmicks that this blaster has. And go. All right, so it's the, accu the rockets are not accurate at all. So those might be reserved for just vintage wars or just if you scavenge them for a zombie buster. Looks like it skipped and failed to rotate. And the catch got caught. All right. So a couple more in. And the clock. Ah, man, it's hard shooting with the GoPro on your chest. All right, so let's try out. Let's say you just scavenged a single half length. Yeah, it's decent, but again, not as good as full length. So shut the half length, full length, full length, full length. Let's say you're just going around. Luckily, you can kind of see the difference between half length and full length by how colorful it is. There we go. Let's say scavenge another half length. So we have 
one shotgun and then two or five normals. That's a pretty decent fire rate. Let's go around two half lengths, two half lengths, normal, half length, rocket, full length. scavenge one more half length. All right, so let's see how that works out. Good. Empty one, let's shove another rocket on there. Rocket. Ugh, that looks nasty. And spread. And it skipped our rocket, so here, let's cycle back through. And you don't have to fully prime it, you can just kind of go half prime and it'll rotate through its mechanism. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of funny one. And that's the uh, test for the AeroStorm. Alright, so now we'll do FPS testing of the Nerf AeroStorm. Um, we'll do the arrows first and then move on to various dart types and combinations later. Alright, so first shot. Okay, so 55. Let's do that again. See how consistent it is. 54, so relatively decent consistency with the arrows. And that's pretty decent performance given how big of a projectile that is. Alright, so now we'll test out full length darts through the barrels, and we'll do six shots. Eighty-two. Seventy-nine. Eighty-two. Eighty-one. Eighty-five. And 82 so it's getting a pretty consistent 80 82 ish FPS which is a little bit hotter or quite a bit hotter than a normal stock new nerf blaster so that's just singled out elites all right so now let's do singled out adventure force pro half darts and we'll have the first three just kind of pushed in there like that so just if you were just loading them fast and then the last three I kind of stuck them halfway in a bit further to try to take advantage of that barrel length. So here we go. 65. 70. 81. 60. All right, so now let's do the ones that are kind of pushed deep in there. 80. 88. 78. So that's averaging what? What? Uh, 7. 82. Yeah, 82. So that's pretty decent FPS out of like that stock nerf. And then if you push them in further, you pretty much get a little less performance than a full length. All right. So now we'll try shotgun loaded half darts. So two half darts. And we'll just do two shots of that. See if it even works. Didn't read. Didn't read. So it looks like you can't read two darts going over at once, but it looks to be getting about like 60 ish FPS or so. Maybe 70. I don't know. It was getting about the same as just a single one that's just shoved in there with the thumb. So overall, it's a pretty good performer. All right. So. Overall, the Nerf Aerostorm is a modified Nerf Aerostorm is a fairly competent blaster for, let's say, a non-magazine war, getting for under 100 FPS, where you're getting consistent shots at 80 FPS or so with full lengths, about 60 to 70 FPS with doubled up half lengths. Doesn't seem to be great at shooting half length single, though that's fine because. If you're shooting under half 100 FPS, not many people are going to be using half links to, for scavenging. 
And then it'd be a good like zombie buster, so let's say you're doing an HVZ round, where you can fire off a rocket to break a shield or like maybe for like a mega zombie or something that they have in some games. Um, so it's a good scavenging blaster, especially for this 1996. Yeah, so very good for its age, and I'm surprised it held up so well, though. So, no paint on both sides, though. So, I guess this isn't really paint, this is a sticker. But anyways, um, more fun.